my actions were shocking, painful, and inexcusable. I deprived other nominees and winners of their opportunity to celebrate and be celebrated for their extraordinary work. I want to put the focus back on those who deserve attention for their achievements. So I'm resigning from membership in the Academy and will accept any further consequences the board deems appropriate. That was from Will Smith resigning from the Academy. I didn't even know what the Academy was. Uh, maybe. Like a, you know what that sounds like? Academy. What? That's, that sounds like Will saying, I don't give a fuck about this shit. That would sound like. I don't he even know it was that is breaking. You know that hammer was coming, man. He was just yeah, I mean, it's a it's a good achievement. It's a big achievement for a lot of people in the industry when it comes to um, winning Oscars. But they know that should be biased as fuck half the time. Black people normally don't win anyway. And that's why it was kind of so ill for him to do this on that night when he was up for the award and won. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, man, why they can. But they can't take nothing to get away from that, though. I mean, he won. I don't know. He won, but I'm just saying, yeah. like, the, the night was overshadowed by the, the whole slap versus yeah. his achievement. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think it was more, I think he slapped this dude more because they were supposed to be friends. Yeah. I don't think he would have just slapped nobody random. Like, if it would have been a different hoax, you feel me? I don't think he would have slapped him. But they're, yeah, supposed, to be good old, good, yes, they're supposed to be good old buddies, you know what I mean? So yeah, you thought that like, you was about to crack some private jokes on my wife in front of the world, and it was going to be okay. And, I don't and, know how good of friends they is, though. I think we but they were, of, I mean, they, they be showing, they be showing a lot of pictures of them together, a lot of different movies or roles that they've been into together. So they got to be somewhat close. They might not be like besties, but I'm they know each other enough. On that mm-hmm. one award, that last one that Chris Rock hosted, and then they mm-hmm. boycotted it, and he was going in on Jada on that one. And then right, so that probably team. was. Right, so that's probably with some more deep rooted shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you all right, man, you tried that shit once. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we went in there and you and you got that shit off. But now I'm here because you got to know. They probably be talking about that shit at home. See, you feel know I me? Mean? They be talking about that shit at home. You know, yeah, they be talking about that shit at home. Hell yeah. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it funky, man. I ain't know she had the uh, alopecia or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I think Chris Rock knew. That's why Will. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She, that's what I'm saying. I feel like he knew what was going on. And he thought he was going to throw a cheap low blow, and they were just going to talk about it. Everything was going to be cool. They talk about it the next <clears> day <throat> or that night. Oh, I apologize. I know, uh, no, nigga, slap. What the five figures say to the face? <laughs> Charlie Murphy. <laughs> Nobody think Charlie Murphy would have said, "What the five figures say to the face, man? What the heck?" I'm a non-confrontational you know nigga, man. Yeah, I'm I'm a non-confrontational nigga, man. And I feel like in that situation, I don't know if I would have done it like like Will did, but something would have definitely had to happen. I mean, we would have had to catch the fade, you know what I'm saying? We could have went yeah. to we could have went behind the scenes or something was gonna happen. But just to Damn. just to get up out your seat, front row, walk over to this man. And the shit out of me. And he cocked but, that drum. Okay, back, and, that's, heard it. and that's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> okay, so yeah, okay, so look at it like that. That's exactly what I'm saying. So, if you feel like you wasn't cool enough with this nigga, and he was an op. You might have backed up. You might have put your hand up. You didn't. You, you thought this nigga was cool enough with you to where he was gonna come face slap you or something, and it was gonna be cool. But you didn't. You didn't. You didn't expect for him to really slap you because y'all cool like that. You get what I'm saying? Because I know, sees if I don't know you that well and we cracking the jokes on you and we kind of know each other and we okay, but I feel comfortable enough to say this and you you not really going to slap me, then nah, I say it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I just I feel mean, like that's what happened. Because like you if you would have been another nigga that you didn't know and he walked up and 
and did one of these, you would at least did one something like this, or you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm yeah, saying? He ain't, he no, ain't he moved no because you knew this is your partner, and he ain't gonna really slap you. That's what you thought. Or that's what he thought. Or or let me let this nigga ruin his life right now in front of everybody, and you do whatever you want, nigga. It's over for you if you do this shit, and you just let that nigga do what he did, and then bam. Chris Rock is on the pedestal he, now. This nigga is hey, fucking the disgrace of the industry now. I don't think he thought that far ahead like no. that. He See, probably that ain't think he that. was going to... No, he didn't think, think that, that nigga was going to... He didn't think that his old buddy, old pal, maybe they're not best friends, but he didn't think his old pal was going to haul off and slap his ass on national TV. That's what happened. I was I, I was talking to I don't know who I was talking to the other day though. I felt like yeah the smack was ill, right? No doubt about it. But him cussing and and yelling like that afterwards, I think that was yeah, even because more ill. Yeah, because his feelings was hurt, bro. That's, That's when you can hear the pain. You, you can hear the pain in his voice because we was better than that. And you had to try that shit right now. After all the but shit man, you know I've been yeah. going through. That's la- when it's me? like he felt betrayed. That's why he did that shit. Nigga, after all this yeah. shit we've been through, and for him to let see- go like that, though, nigga. Right, keep my man. Let keep it my all wife, go that moment. Keep my wife fucking name out your mouth. And he said that shit like three times, like to make yeah, you know he right. talking to you loud in the Loudly. auditorium, full of people, right. and it was That's silent. Quiet. All you hear was that, like. Right, I'm, I was looking at that joint. Oh, I was like, oh, this is ill. That was ill to me. The right. smack was ill, but that was ill to me though, because they didn't cut right. the, the the broadcast feed. You already got FCC sanctions and fines coming. You know they coming. You know what I'm saying? You ain't right. cussed mm-hmm. on live air, like right. oh, you just and didn't care no more. Right, and that's what I'm saying. That nigga, you felt that pain, nigga. Like, no, like you, you. He felt him being betrayed, betrayed, nigga. But that's how I would feel too. He was, he was tearing up and everything. Like, nigga, you know you shouldn't have said that about my but wife. But Shannon, like, hey, I don't know if y'all see him, Shannon ass. Sharp, man. <laughs> that nigga, uh, but but not even that. He was just like, it was something deeper than just the Chris Rock joke that set it yeah, off. I feel like, like I feel maybe like that set him off. You feel me? But it was more yeah. to it than just that in that moment. It was everything mm-hmm. like just culmination and stuff that kind of just, you could hear it all come out right then and there. That was it. You know, well, it, it was the last straw. It was. Yeah. It was definitely yeah, a shit, breaking point. Yeah, it was so definitely that, a breaking point. And I keep hearing niggas say, oh, he ain't do that to August L. Cena. And all this shit. I'm like, man, you don't know what that nigga him and August did. You don't know what type of, you don't even know what type of agreement they had, nigga. Yeah, we don't. Because they've them. been talking about Will and Dave. I mean, to be totally honest, they've been saying Will and Dave have been swingers for a long time. You feel sure. me? So, so they got it. They can have an agreement, nigga. I don't care. You gonna fuck with my wife, but I, if I can go out and fuck all these other hoes too, let's have an agreement. It's called good. You know what I'm saying? And that's the agreement I think they had. But it so happened to get out that he was fucking, it was just weird because that was their, her son's friend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You feel me? Like, that, that's, uh, that's her son's I friend. Into so. the entanglement right. stuff, man. The entanglement right. is just. That's just weird. Like, that's all. There's a lot of ill stuff going on over there, yeah. Imagine she called well, him they had some, Yeah, they had definitely some ill shit going on, but he was fed up, man. The world talking about this nigga wheel all year long. And you you supposed to be his partner. And you tried him too on national TV. Thought because he was winning this award, he wasn't going to do you bad. And he said, fuck this Oscar, nigga, take it back. He didn't even say nothing about Will, though. He said something about Jay. Yeah, but that's the thing. You don't, you don't, you you don't hold your wife's honor and take it personally. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know yeah. how that stuff would be. 
I know how yeah, it is. You know, you know I, what I'm I feel like I, I would have did the same, but I probably would have did something different. Like I don't think I would have hauled off on national TV. But I don't know what type of breaking point he was at. So yeah. you never know what a nigga can do. Shit, he, you know, some shit be happening out here. Motherfuckers go crazy. Mental, yeah, mental health is was like, mental health is real. <laughs> Mental health is real. I mean, but somebody else was bringing it up. Like, I know I didn't sit front row at the improv, right mm-hmm. in front of the dude. You know what I'm saying? And he went in all night. He was going in on me because it was it was like four. It was three ladies at the table. It was me and Serena, and then it was two other chicks on the. So he just thought I was just pimping you know what i'm saying he thought i had all these chicks and all this and that he was just going in on me all night whatever we just uh-huh. laughing though you know what i'm saying I, mind you that's not the same severity but what i'm saying is you in the front and the comedian see you you fair game to get clowned on all night Are you okay so let me tell you this let me ask you this you think that the joke was a freestyle because i'm thinking it was premeditated they no, said it was written that's what I'm saying. That's what the part that I'm thinking. I don't think he's raw enough to to hit you with that type of material off the bat, but he could be. I don't know. He, he no, is, that's he not is. Yeah, I think he can. He did start off as a he did start off as a stand up comic. You feel me? So yeah, he could yeah, probably he could probably be that raw, but yeah. I thought that it was like you know like when you go on these shows, they don't let you freestyle. No, they don't. Right. No. Some of that stuff. Don't let you freak out. But if he... Man, I think it was probably then, reading a teleprompter. If it was a teleprompter, though, and that's where I think it's, it could be super ill, because what if he didn't even write it? No, you you said a joke. So then who, who wrote it? Did he write right. it or somebody else wrote it? So now right. if somebody else wrote it, the Academy kind of got to be held responsible, too. Because y'all just let this joke right. be said, you know what I'm saying? That pass through, knowing that. So somebody who's who's really at fault for the actual joke, you know what I'm saying? Right. <clears throat> um, and that's how I, that's how I see it too. That's kind of ill too, though. Um, right. You know, you just don't know. Yeah, we don't know the facts yet, and I think everybody's still trying to process because. They're going to have to tread delicately with that one because either Chris Rock going to have to take the blame for coming up with the joke and writing it or, or freestyling it, like you said, or they had writers and they put that in and they was wrong for that. You know what I'm saying? 100%. So, I don't Chris know. Rock that should ain't be. come out yet. But either way, he he had the green light maybe to skip over that joke. Like, he could have read yeah, it and yeah. been like, I ain't about to say that. I ain't gonna say that. that's too much. Right, you know right, and that's right. that's the part much. I keep. And right, that's the part that I keep saying about how Will was probably felt like this nigga really just tried me. He supposed to be one of my partners. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's probably what happened. And that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> there is. That's why everybody thought the shit was staged. But there's no way you want a nigga walk up on you. And act like he about to slap you and you don't flinch. Unless you think he your partner and he's not gonna hit you. Or if it was staged and he did cause he kinda like, you know what I mean, went up and put his hands behind his back and kind of prepared for it. Like yeah, it because looked like he, he was thought they, be, they, cause he's their actors. He probably thought this nigga was gonna fake slap him more. You know what I'm saying? Cause they friends. He probably yeah, thought he, he was probably, thinking, yeah. with a with a, a soft slap or something like or shake him or something right but no he slapped the fire the out shit there. out of him man, man you know one thing i never saw too i never they never showed jada's reaction after the smack did you ever see anything showing her no. face after the smack no i would have liked yeah have i think i did it was her i think i seen her laugh or some shit oh really Oh, yeah, man. I gotta find that. What would have happened that. if she would have laughed after the joke? Would it have even turned into this? What if she would have took the joke she, too and laughed? But she didn't, because that's what she that, that was didn't. the whole problem. That yeah, was the whole problem. Because Will laughed, Will laughed at first. 
Yeah, and he saw her. <laughs> he saw he her. Saw she was like, nigga, that shit ain't funny. She looked at him like, that shit ain't funny, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, she did. Go do something. <laughs> Tupac would have did something. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She looked at him like, yeah. she looked at him like, nigga, that ain't funny, you bitch ass nigga. What you laughing for? He talking about me. Yeah, you gotta go. Now with it now was she was she being I'm not I'm not no black woman, right? So I don't I don't wanna put myself in that position, but all right, I, I got you right here. Dramatic I, though. I'm send, I, I'm sending it to you both right now. She gave him that look. No, no, no. I'm saying after after Will did the smack though. You feel me? I am. Like I, 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 I seen her do the look. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm selling the right though. Dwight, what's your Instagram again? Which one? Yeah, I got like four of them. Nigga, any one that you can get a DM on real quick. Be on Hilldraws. Okay. I hear people sending me friend requests, man. Yeah, I always do them there. Man, what the fuck? I know we friends on here. What the fuck? Tap, tap, tap. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, here we go, y'all. Both of y'all. Look at this shit. Jada's reaction. She laughing, right? She laughing after this nigga gets slapped. Here is an angle most people have not seen. Look at Jada's reaction. She see her laughing after he slapped after he slapped fire on that nigga. She gets the laugh. She did. <clears throat> mm. Maybe she thought that was a joke. Maybe um, I feel like Will for? flying off at the handle. Well, I think it was real quick at the beginning that showed her reaction, and and, and she was laughing at the smack. I yeah, feel like the smack. I don't. I don't know if everybody took the smack as serious, right? It wasn't yeah. until he started cussing. That's cussing. what I'm saying. The yeah. boom got shot. You know what I'm saying? That's what really got everybody. The smack was kind of like, was this stage? Was it? Nobody knew what yeah. that was. But when he started cussing, though, oh, it was real. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't do that out real. loud, man. Yeah, he did. He was on some nigga shit, man. And I'm unfortunately, that ain't no nigga environment, man. That's not no nigga no, environment, dog. No. That's not nowhere not, you. Not mean. by any means necessary. You worked your whole life to get to that point, and then you do that him. shit right then. He probably don't care, man. He done this everything he could possibly do. Yeah, cool. but now nobody's gonna really want to like. He's kind of tarnished for a little bit. He gonna have to come on Oprah or some shit, man. He needs somebody to say, Ayana saved my life or something. What's that bitch name? Oh, it's that oh, bad, shit. man. No, this shit It's that bad, but it's not that bad, man. It's but at the end bad. of the day, I mean, it, it is because he definitely you know, tarnished. He definitely, he definitely not going, I mean, but you gotta talk about a man that got 30 plus years of fire, though. It ain't like it's yeah. gonna be tarnished for too long. That nigga is gonna go down as arguably, arguably one of the greatest actors ever, and it ain't gonna be no. Yeah, he, he yeah. That's the only time they're gonna ever be able to say, "Man, a nigga, the greatest. He the goat." But he went crazy one time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it's gonna be bad to where it's gonna fuck up his whole career. Because if, Not if, like you, ask that. Me, if you ask me, I'm trying to get him in a movie right now while this shit's still popping. Yep. Like no, if I was one of them niggas, I'm I'm getting that nigga in here, cause it ain't like he it ain't like he got accused of rape. They can give a nigga five years, two hundred thirty million for that. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I, let's talk oh. about it. Let's talk about it. You feel me? Shit, give my nigga Will another movie. Fuck Chris Rock. Don't nobody like that nigga anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Flat out, nigga, give Will another movie right now, nigga. They, like you said, it is. They done gave a nigga five years, two hundred thirty million for a rape allegation. You heard some of them earlier today. And you talking about Will Do? And you talking about Will Do for slapping a nigga over his wife? Shit, nigga. Fuck that. 
the performance though, right? That's what I was saying before. And I'm telling you, when Deshaun get on that field and put up that four touchdown, 400 yards, shit, the conversation gonna shift. They gonna oh, yeah. need to give Will one of the roles, man. He he needs something like dramatic or heartfelt or something gonna make motherfuckers. He just he just shit. got finished with that to win him over. I didn't yeah, watch that wasn't, nah, I, nah, they I need a new it. one now, nah, nigga. That was some old shit. Now you need some redemption shit, nigga. That was the way King he was Richard wasn't good enough. The way he was talking in the previews, I don't want no parts of that, man. I'm good. The King Richard was good enough to get him there, but now the incident happened. Nobody's gonna be talking about that. He needs something else now. Need something else because that was that's gonna be tied to the awards. That was the the movie that got him to the smack. You know what I mean? Need something. Else. I think of Will Smith greatest role. I think in Pursuit of Happiness. I don't think about anything. Yeah, that's up there for sure. That's that is, that probably is his greatest one. I think that's his but, greatest. But this King Richard shit is very really close. You seen did, it? Did you see it? Yeah, man, that's just a great fucking movie, man. See why I just hear black people talking, like the way he was talking. I, I don't mm-hmm. like it. I don't like it. What? Like his accent and how he was talking and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah that I just mean, turns me off. Man. Yeah, I'm cool with that though. I ain't worried about that. When you talking about men in black, nigga, you talk about wheels, nigga. You talk about bad boy for life. Bad boys. Bad you feel boys. me? <laughs> life <laughs> after <laughs> Earth was. Right. Yeah, like, that was the only one. Nigga, listen. Independence Day was my favorite right. movie ever. That's, that's like, what that's I'm saying. That's one of my favorite movies, man. And right, right. My favorite Will I mean, movie. He didn't have, he didn't not my so favorite Will movie. That's just one of my favorite movies, man. He just happened he to be He didn't have so many bangers, bangers, right? He didn't have so many I bangers. Nigga, you got it. Yeah, man. He got so many. Uh, nigga, he had so many I bangers. I didn't mention it's good. Mm-hmm. I Robot, or what was it? I Robot? No, it was he. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. I'm saying that nigga got bangers on top of bangers, so. Hey man, After Earth for real though, man, it really wasn't too that bad though. It wasn't that <laughs> bad though. I'm t- I watched that shit but just you, recently, man. You know what else wasn't that bad? Uh, the the one the other one wasn't that bad either. That uh the Gemini man. Oh yeah, that it was, was alright. It was it was good for yeah. one of those. That's what I'm saying. That nigga, he ain't never let me down, man. I can't think of one Will Smith movie that was just like ass. uh, No, no. Chris Rock at that last Grammys, when when he was going in, Chris Rock went in on him making Wild Wild West. He was going in. Y'all got to see the clip of him going in on Will and Jada at that last Grammys or whatever it was. And, 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 and that's probably another thing that, that, that just was boiling. Like, man, he went in for like two, three minutes or something. He was just roasting them. And they wasn't there that year, though. They boycotted. That was the year everybody was boycotting it. He hosted it, mm-hmm. though. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, Wild Wild West. That's another it wasn't one a bad movie, movie, though. It was just, for what it was, it was just, you know what I mean? Fun little family movie, like. Yeah, know? that's what I said. Wasn't that shit a Disney movie? Yeah, it was probably along them lines, you know Yeah, what I mean? one of those shit. Like yeah. Movie. Yeah. <clears throat> what else? He, no, he did do some gay shit back in the day, though. Hey, hold on, hold on. That was not a kid's movie. Wild Wild what? West? It's not a kid's yeah. movie. Oh. Um, it wasn't? Right? It felt no. like it. They had it giant like spiders it, and shit, niggas losing their heads. Oh, man, the only thing like I think it. about Wild Wild West <laughs> is that he chose that over Matrix. And I'll always forever think, why did he choose that over Matrix? Man, everything ain't for everybody. Yeah, he wouldn't have been a good Neo, man, I don't think. Like, that Hell shit happened no. the way it was supposed to happen, man. I, yeah, because Neo was just go. Yeah, Neo was a goat for sure. I don't think I could never see him as Neo. Like Tom, Tom Cruise could have been Iron Man. I don't know. I could have seen Robert Downey Jr. not be in that role. No. No, me either. You know what I'm saying? I like him with John Wick more. But I'm talking about you gotta think about all the fucking movies this nigga with. Nigga, that nigga played the fuck out of Muhammad Ali. Yeah, he did. That's one of the great roles. You feel me? Like he (coughs) played the fuck out of that movie. 
even in the movie when he played the gay dude, I don't know if the dude was gay, but that uh, Six Degrees of Separation, well, he, he had a gay scene. One. He had a gay scene. It was the old movie from like the early 90s or something. That was one of his first movies and shit. And he played this dude that was a swindler in New York that was just staying with rich people. And it was one scene oh, okay. he had, you know what I'm saying, where he was getting, he, somebody laid the pipe to him or whatever. Oh, Lord, no. Yeah. It was I ill. I was like, good. damn. I was, I was like, dang, Will. But it, it was at a time when, you know, homosexuality wasn't really, like, accepted like that. So it was an ill role for him to play. So even in that sense, when the, from an artistic perspective, I guess, you know what I'm saying, he, had, he got some range or whatever, you know. Whatever. Yeah. You know, he so. definitely got some bangers though. And he was the Fresh Prince. I mean, we can't forget that. That show no, went on can't. for years. You, you can't know what forget I'm saying? that. We all we all grew up watching that joint. But I mean, I still feel like all of that. That's what I'm saying, though. That's why I feel like it's such a fall from grace. Because imagine a. Barack Obama doing some ill shit right now. Like, nigga, we can't just keep losing these people that's up on these pedestals like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they put him up there. And that moment they put him up there and then boom. Can't even I can't even get into that, man. I mean, like I just some, because I, I you know when I come when it comes to me and it comes to Certain folks, man. Like I say, like we can't. I can't be saying. I can say some other shit to y'all that I want to say in person, but you gonna probably post this shit somewhere. <laughs> they ain't want nobody trying to come for me, nigga. But, no, but yeah. I don't all put them, them on no pedestals, person. No, no, I'm talking me. about all of them be doing ill, ill or shit. You feel me? But that's what I'm right. saying, though. We don't see that ill stuff on. No, for 15, 50 million people didn't see that ill right. stuff. Though. You feel me? Right. Like LeBron, he can't really do nothing bad. You can't, you, you know what I mean? No, because that nigga, you're 19 and leading the league in scoring, which is amazing, by the way. But even ever, I'm saying, even when he's done playing, like, nigga, you up there, dog. You can't really, like, you know what I mean? You can't no, get no, I mean, why. Like, I don't know, man. They tried that shit with Jordan. That nigga had gambling problems and all that shit. That was shit was 20 years ago. He's still a dope. I think he got black. He is, ones. but he got, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. He don't, like, they don't look to, for him for, like, no, as no voice of the people like that. Like, Tiger Woods, done. You know That's what I'm saying? That's the stance he chose, though. Yeah, Jordan yeah, did take that stance, and he, and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? So they just put him to the side. You feel me? Like, let's right. move on to the next well, person. LeBron yeah. is different because LeBron took that stance. He did. He, yeah, he wanted to be that voice, but what I'm saying, so now it's like you got the watchful eye on you, so you can't really do wrong, you know what I'm saying? And Will was kind of right. like one of them people too. So now this is like, dang, you know what I mean? Like, ain't nobody perfect. Like we was talking, you, ain't nobody perfect, but you can't just be imperfect in front of everybody, you know, like to that degree. To that right. degree, like where it was some violence. But sometimes, man, when you when you when you you know when you when you when your blood is boiling, man. Yeah, it don't really matter when when, yeah, when, man. Shit, when, when shit hit the fan. You got right. Do people don't be do. thinking. Yeah, people don't be thinking about the consequences, man. We didn't all been in some situations and done some shit that we wish we could have took back as soon as we got done doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been in plenty of situations to where. My 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 ego or my you know what I'm saying shit got the best of me and I'm like damn man I should have done that shit you know what I'm saying and it'd be too late like yeah it be I've been there you know what I'm saying so I know Will like you said that statement he read Will he regret that shit but it was just like hey man I I I regret doing it on stage but I don't regret doing it you know what I'm saying like man I apologize no, I, yeah, I, yeah, I went I, I flew off the handle. I shouldn't have done that shit on TV. I apologize for that. But as far as doing it, period, man, fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's yeah, what he's man. saying. No, that's you know definitely what, he, what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, like, man, you know, take this award. Yeah. I, I mean, if that's what it come down to, I worked hard for it. I, I, I deserve it, but I could have 
just very well gave it back because I couldn't hold myself down. I couldn't hold my temper. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So come get this shit. I resigned from this academy. I apologize, but nah, I can't take it back. So I ain't about to kiss y'all ass either. It's kind of like you said, though, man. They should have let him. I mean, he should have caught the fade afterwards or something, man. Yeah, that, it, but that see, stage. and that's the thing. I think it would have even been worse because either way, they would have took that motherfucking Oscar. You know what I'm saying? He could have. He could have whooped his ass two weeks later, and they would have found a way to take that shit back. Man, you know what I'm saying? Know, man. If he would have did man, it, like, so, man, listen, let's go yeah, in the let's dressing say, room. Let's, no cameras, let's, no bodyguards. No, that man, just... You talking about a megastar here. That shit's getting out. Ain't no hiding that. It's getting you out. No matter where it happens. Nope. The trailer by now, now, if they would have set up some celebrity boxing or something like that to get their smoke off, maybe that then that way they could have <clears> did it work, made it work the money for the sales, the pay-per-view could have went towards their charities and they could have did it a little better if he would have just said something angrily like, oh yeah, you're going to see me. You know, this made a scene and, and kind of made it to where, oh, this nigga really won't smoke. Then somebody could have thought about them doing it better. But in the heat of the moment, man, you talking shit about my wife and her tradition. You know, I already did his bath for three minutes of the last award show you did. What the fuck <laughs> is it with us? You feel me? Why the fuck you picking on us? You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be my partner. You already know I done went through this shit. My lady, my wife, and fuck my son's friend. You know what I'm saying? And you know all of the inside shit that we going through. <laughs> you feel me? Why would you do this to me on TV, man, for a couple laughs in front of the world? I'm about to smack the fire out of your bitch ass. And so be it. That somebody did say something like Chris Rock, like where they be going hard on black people when he be in he do settings. Though. When it's but, but really, don't nobody really dirty. fuck with him though. Like <clears throat> nobody really fuck with that nigga. If you if you if you look at a lot of people in the game that be that been on online or whatever, they be saying the same thing. Like, well, nobody really fuck with Chris Rock anyway. I did see something today with Corey Holcomb though. That nigga said, he said, he flat out said, like, man, I, I just feel like Will was fed up when he, he smacked a nigga that was a non-threat. And he was like, yep. I bet you he wouldn't have slapped motherfucking uh, Dave Chappelle or Tyler Perry or one of these other niggas. He said he probably just slapped that nigga because he was cool with him and he knew that nigga couldn't do nothing with him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, nice. <clears throat> I think it was just a joke, man. That's possible. And he, I think he knew, like we said earlier. No, but the, the, I why, think he more knew than just a joke. what was going that's on. That's more than just a joke. That's more than just a joke. That's what I'm saying. He knew what was going on, and you just tried to sucker punch me more than once. Like, fuck that, man. I, I, man. Like I told you. Did the GI See, like we talked about the other day. See, like we talked about the other day, man. It comes a point in life, man, to where. You just don't take a lot of shit no more, man. Yeah, you get you get to that. That's point. all it is, man. You get to that point where it's kind of like, all right, man. Like, well, why are you fucking with me? Right. You know what I'm saying? Fine. It's a million other motherfuckers in here that you could be fucking with. Leave me the fuck alone. You don't want to fuck with me on TV for the second time? Right. Come on, bro. Come yeah. on, man. I'm not about to be your punching bag. So. When I come up here and slap the fuck out of you, nigga, you just you just was asking for it. Like, fuck that. I don't got you. I don't got patience for shit like that. Nigga try to play the victim. He looking like he got slapped and he just sitting there looking like, well, it was just a G.I. Jane joke. Well, you said the wrong joke tonight. <laughs> so <clears throat> what I guess I didn't know too is I have seen G.I. Jane years, G.I. Jane years ago. But I, I guess she shaved her head because, because she had, she had alopecia. alopecia shit. <clears throat> I right. never, I don't remember that part of the movie, honestly. So I guess all I that thought it was part I, of the recruiting. I did too. Well, like I, I just thought, she, but no, but I've heard yeah. since then that she had the alopecia too. And so, um, you know, 
I guess I never knew that, you know, just watching that movie. So I guess the joke really was kind of ill, you know what I'm saying? When, when you get right. down to the root of it all. If that's the truth, <clears throat> if that's the truth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if that, that is an ill ass joke. And that would make you more of a like, no, man, this shit ain't funny, man. Yeah. I think Demi Moore really has a lot of hair. She always wear like short hair. Well, I've never really seen her with long hair. You really but no, that. but the <clears throat> yeah, but I get but I'm saying is the character in G.I. Jane, the actual, you know what I'm saying? Like the, yeah. the role that she was playing, I guess that person in the movie had it. I which is why she had to shave her head, yeah, in the movie. Oh, okay. But it's I don't know. I guess when you have conditions or different things. It de- I guess it depends too on who it is, man. Remember, I mean, we will have to talk about some stuff offline, peasy. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But like, say y'all was the joke. I'll just use myself or whatever, right? <clears throat> say y'all was the joke about my high blood pressure or something like that. I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, what am I? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, some stuff be funny though. I don't know. I, I'm not saying that was funny. <clears throat> people was laughing. Some people thought it was funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, is is it is it? Yeah, so because it's silly? a natural, it's a natural response to laugh. Nigga, how many times do you laugh at shit that ain't really funny? Maybe let's just let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. We be in a room full of niggas and you just network and a nigga says something to you like, oh, yeah, I feel you, man. <laughs> nigga, I shit wanna fight. I don't give a fuck about what the fuck you just said. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to be nice. You feel me? You just being cool, you being cordial, you vibing. Nigga, I, I, half the time, I want that shit went in one ear and out the other. I, if you stop me right now and ask me what you just said, nine times out of 10, I don't fucking remember. But I laughed it off like it was a dude. <laughs> Y'all think it's crazy. <laughs> what this nigga just say? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> Let's just be real. You know what I'm saying? You're in a room full of people. That shit like that happens, man. You're like, I, I've been in plenty of rooms where you be like, I don't know, man. Let me get the fuck out of here. I don't know what these niggas talk about. I'm in this bitch faking it like a motherfucker, man. Tell me to go home. No, that stuff do be happening, though. I mean, um, you know, you know. Um, one, two. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. But you know, we just gonna have to wait and see what happens to him and and Deshaun, man, Dwight. You know, you had some good, good discussions today. Good topic point. I mean, I don't, I don't know either one of them, man. They fade is up in the air, honestly, man. So no, the Sean's fate is not. It's a court it of public be. opinion versus that the fact. Stuff, sometimes that public opinion can sway something big enough to. In sports, it hasn't been as bad like Michael Vick or Ben Roethlisberger. It's been a lot of them that's come under fire for different things, and and they all seem to have bounced back. You know what I'm saying? Fairly well. So we'll have to wait and see. I hope I hope everything work out. Not just because we bounce fans, but just just because you know what I'm saying. Like for all parties, though, man. I don't want it to just be one sided, man. I just want the truth to come off for real. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever the truth is, I want that to be that. You know.